Hey Chuck and Don, Scott WA9WFA here with a little video tour of the WFA motorized antenna tuner uh, specifically for use with 450 ohm ladder line. Um, it started out as a Heathkit SA2040 that I bought off of eBay. I bought the cheapest one that they had and I took the front panel label off to expose the metal, the aluminum, and then added the motors. So the motor on the left is the transmitter tune, on the right is the antenna tune, and then in the center is for the roller inductor. And then I've got a Molex connector uh, to control everything. Since I don't have the controller unit built yet, I built this little switch arrangement, which I can just pop into the Molex connector that allows me uh, to use the motors, drive the motors forward and reverse. Most of the tuner on the inside is, is original. Um, I did have to make a few mechanical uh, position changes for the roller inductor because it had to sit back a little bit further to make room for the the uh, coupling and the gearing arrangement which you can see here and so what you're looking at is uh, about a 12 to 1 gearing between the 10 turn potentiometer that's behind this panel um, right over here and the motor I needed that to tell me or I wanted that to tell me where the roller inductor is throughout its travel so the heath kit roller inductor you can see the limit switches there's a limit switch at each end um, I'm using a basically a design similar to uh, Bob WA1ZRU's antenna tuner where it gets down towards the end the limit switch activates and the motor stops turning otherwise these gearhead motors would continue turning until the roller inductor popped out of the back of the cabinet there's that much force so a roller inductor is close to activating the front limit switch there's the back limit switch. The 4 to 1 Balin. I made a few movements in the changes in the Brillium copper strapping. Um, just because things were being moved around. So I've got it wired up now for the roller inductor. When I say it, the, the little controller. So we're just going to send it down to the end and see what happens here so i've still got the switch engaged but power's been cut off and then i came up with this novel little scheme so i can reverse the motor and then it'll travel all the way down to the other end um, I'm only using an 8-wire Ethernet control cable, and I really could have used a couple extra wires for getting a little bit more information to and from the motors and the limit switches, but I opted to use just the limit switch and the 10-turn uh, uh, pot to let me know where the roller is. So what will happen is, on the control box, there'll be a digital display. Oh, we're, there we go, we reached the end. And now when I reverse it, it pulls away. On the digital controller, there'll be a, a, a digital display that will display a voltage based on this 10-turn pot. And when the voltage is at zero, I know the pot or I know the pot and the roller is at one end and when the voltage is max and I'm not qu quite sure what that's going to be yet um, 
then I'll know that I've reached the other end. Okay, I'll also be able to tell when the voltage stops changing, when it stops increasing or decreasing. So the other controls work the same. Um, let's see, seven and eight. So I'm gonna move these around. So now we control one of the other motors. So now we're controlling the antenna matching side and that's reversible as well. It's a little faster than I'd like, but with little jogs, it'll be okay. Um, I have experience with another motorized antenna tuner and that one's faster. So I did slow it down some, but I actually could slow it down in half. And then on the back, I'll still use the ground connection, the two balanced feed line connections. I incorporated this connection internally. That's why I was moving things around. So I don't have that bar that comes across anymore because I don't need it. And so that's the basic tuner. Um, it seems to be running 100% right now, and now I'm going to work at getting it mounted into the waterproof uh, outdoor uh, enclosure. So there you go, just a quick video tour to let you see what's going on. This is WA9WFA73.